Hello, welcome. It's Al. It is December 2018. Thank you for watching today's video. Holy cow, where has 2018 gone? The year disappeared in the blink of an eye. Like, holy cow, it's like December 2018 already. Um, I have nothing but thanks to give for my 2018. I had an awesome year this year. I um, worked at some wonderful venues, Bastille Days to be uh, to name one, um, the Five Star Psychic Fair, which was my very own baby, and that was number two, and everything I did throughout the year, and my daily readings for you guys. So thank you so much. I am so grateful for, for the fact that I get to do my wonderful work for you and you guys appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, it is a new month. That means a new Zodiac readings for December. And I thought to myself, Stephen, my friend Stephen Bright in the UK, I thought to myself, which tarot deck should I use that's Christmassy or holiday-ish? And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get dressed up with my woo, little hat and my beautiful Let's Get Blitz and ugly t-shirt. <laughs> um, anyway, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to go with the deck of cards that my mama gave me for Christmas one year, which is the Tarot Nova. This is a beautiful deck of cards. You are going to love them. They are stripped down, uh, but there's still a lot of meaning and a lot of feeling and a lot of art to this beautiful deck of cards. It's a tiny little deck of cards. Julie Pashkis, I think, is the artist and the um, publisher is Running Press. So that's the deck of cards I'm going to use for today. These are the backs. They are so beautiful. So let me stop rambling and get to the Zodiac readings for December 2018. Um, I hope you guys have, I hope you guys have had as awesome a year as I have. Um, there have definitely been some trials, a little bit of roller coaster ride throughout the year, but, um, coming through it and working toward an awesome 2018, so many wonderful things to share with you guys along the year. So make sure you pay attention, um, at alstarot.com so you don't miss anything. All right. The Zodiac Readings 2018 for December. Aries, you're up first. Aries, nice. Queen of Pentacles. With the Queen of Pentacles, Aries, it is about securing yourself, making sure you have solid footing. And like this Queen of Pentacles, making sure you eat a proper diet. Now, don't be on a diet, but pay attention to what you fuel your body with. That's where your real wealth lies. Your health is your wealth, Aries. Pay attention to that. Taurus. Ah, Queen of Swords, Taurus. Normally, I think of my very good friend, Tammy. She's a Taurus. And this card says, Tammy... Speak your voice. I got to do that too, but we're talking about Taurus here. Taurus, speak your voice. Say the things you need to say. Make sure that your message comes across clean, clear, and that you're saying what you mean and you mean what you say. I also want to point out, see this little birdie right there? Pay attention to the intuition. Your little birdie is going to whisper in your ear and tell you what you need to know. Focus on that. Gemini, that's me. Oh, nice, Gemini. Four of Pentacles. With the Four of Pentacles, it's time to be a greedy little piggy for life. The Four of Pentacles is about your ground, where you stand, and making sure that you're feeling secure and you're feeling safe. This card is also about um, the idea that if you hang on to things too tight, they will slip through your fingers, just like water slips through your fingers when you try to grasp it too tightly. So here, be hungry for life, yes, but don't hold on so tight that you lose the essence of what you're trying to achieve. Cancer, eight of wands, Cancer. Time is 
flying by. And not only just this year, but for you, everything seems to be happening in the blink of an eye. Now, if you look at this card, you see that there's a time clock in this, we this spinning wheel. Everything is going by so fast. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Get your work done, Cancer. Leo. Big. That's my sister. Leo. Oh, no. King of Cups reversed. For you, Leo, it does feel as though you've got to unplug you emotionally. Don't take things personal, especially when you're feeling like people are attacking you and you're going out of your way to help them. The King of Cups reverse is letting you know it's not personal. It's not about you. Do what you can to nurture and emotionally unplug yourself. The moment you feel yourself dialing in on an emotional level, that's where you're going to get your feelings hurt. So do what you can. Keep a healthy a distance between you and the people who surround you and do what you can to take care of them. But remember, it's not about you. It's about them. Virgo. Knight of Wands reversed, Virgo. You're trying to take care of everybody and everything and somehow you feels like it feels like your wheels are spinning. With the Knight of Wands reversed, I see so much passion that you have to give. But you're kind of wasting your energy there, Virgo. You're kind of doing anything and everything just to make something happen. And it's not really doing you any bit of good. So what I would say is looking at this, pull back your energy. Focus on what you would like to see happen. Don't worry about how you make it happen. Focus on what you want to make happen and go from there. Focus on your end result. That's where you need to pay attention. Libra. Six of Cups reverse, Libra. For you, Libra, I want to give you a little bit of a slap on the hand and tell you, let go of your past. You do not live there anymore. You are. You should be about your future. You should be about moving forward. The past is a wonderful place to visit, but you can't live there. And those that do tend to find themselves like this poor guy, um, daydreaming, um, wondering about what coulda, shoulda, woulda happened, and um, honestly, a nine times out of ten, killing yourself over the mistakes that you made that you think you could have done better. Well, you know what? Think about those things and think, how can I move better moving forward now? So the past is a nice place to visit, but don't set up camp. Don't live there. Let your past go. Easier said than done, I know, but let your past go. Scorpio. Knight of Cups reverse, Scorpio. For you, it is about tapping into your emotional well-being with the people who surround you. It definitely feels to me as though um, maybe your mouth takes over faster than your emotions do. And so for here, the Knight of Cups reverse is letting you know Tap into the emotion before you speak, before you act. How am I feeling? Let that be your guiding force, Scorpio, especially for this month. And the hard, the funny part about it is um, December tends to revolve around family with the holidays. So looking at this card, it might not be a bad idea to tap into your emotions before you put any energy out. Um, Sagittarius. The Lovers Reverse Sagittarius, kind of like um, that last card for Scorpio. This is a card that's also telling you tap into your relationships. Tap into the people who love you. Tap into the people that you love. Um, I do think that somehow there's going to be a hard lesson to be learned about romance and relationships. And the fact that you feel like you're putting forth energy, but you're not really, that's going to come back and bite you in the ass. So with the Lover's Card Reverse, focus on the people you love and give them as much as you can without looking for credit and without expecting something back in return. Give because you want to. I feel like sometimes, Sagittarius, that might be where you slip up. Capricorn. Seven of Cups, Capricorn. You are walking a fine line. Continue to do so, but you are going to achieve a fulfilling 
moment when you get to the end of your rope. And I don't mean end of the rope in a, in a crazy or a desperate way, but I mean end of the rope meaning achieving your goal. Seven of Cups, happiness is uh, yet to be had. You're on your way, so keep focus, Capricorn. Don't lose, don't lose your balance. Aquarius. Page of Swords reverse, Aquarius. Mind your words, kiddo. You are foaming at the mouth, and it's definitely going to hurt you in the long run. You may feel justified, but I don't think that that's really the case, especially with this Page of Swords reverse. You're just letting anything and everything come flying out of your mouth without thinking about it. And that is going to hurt you. Not only you, but the people that you are lashing out at. So watch yourself, Aquarius. Don't, don't, don't say something you don't mean. And especially when you won't be able to take it back. Pisces, that's my mama. Pisces, King of Swords Reverse. You have to start saying what you mean hardcore. Say what you mean and mean what you say. You are not the doormat. You are not somebody to just take whatever happen happens. Don't take that. You deserve bigger, better, more. And until you learn to speak up for it, then you won't get it, chances are. So do what you gotta do what you gotta do. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Um and there is always, always, always a nice way to deliver with kindness. So be kind in your interactions and in your vocals, but um, definitely say what you mean. You're not going to get anywhere if you don't. There you go. That's the December 2018 Zodiac readings. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Make sure you pay attention to alstarot.com every single day. Um... And sign up for the newsletter so that way you know exactly what's happening here at alstarot.com. Um, uh, take a, a peek at my uh, Facebook. Take a peek at my Instagram. It's always some goofy stuff happening over at those two spots. But alstarot.com, that's how you know you're in the know. Happy holidays, guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.